Hey everyone, and in today's video, we are going to be looking at the full Atlantic Hurricane Season Forecast 2021 that will include a ocean analyst, predictions, names, climate, and much more. Before we could get into the forecast, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on post notifications so you won't miss a single upload or live stream on the channel. Right now we are looking at the current SST anomaly index and as you can see right now as of May 15th we currently are in a neutral phase that intel neutral phase we even went into a neutral phase uh, back over in March when we got to that negative 0.4 that's when we reached that insult neutral phase. We were in El La Nina, but now um, we are even approaching a little bit of that El Nino. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see. We are expecting a La Nina for this season. However, right now it is still staying and really stalling in that insult neutral phase. Now here's the actual sea surface temperature anomaly right now as of around may 15th and as you can see we are seeing some slightly cooler waters over here in portions of the pacific ocean here and this is kind of that area uh where we where it says if we have an el nino or a la nina or even an insel neutral and in fact we have that in some neutral mainly because we're seeing some more average waters we're not seeing uh, much above average waters we're not seeing much below average waters so we're definitely seeing uh, some definite average waters in this region, and that's why we are seeing in that neutral phase. Now, in fact, so this video is going to be scheduled, uh, but as of May 15th or today, May 15th at 1.19 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the National Hurricane Center has issued their first outlook for the 2021 atlantic hurricane season or not really a hurricane season uh but for the year the atlantic hurricane season is going to start in about 15 or 16 days of course this video is going to be scheduled so that's not going to be that accurate but it will start in about just 15 days here and as we move forward here we have the Atlantic hurricane season 30 year climate normals and as you can see 1961 to 1990 for the name storms we see about 10 um, for the hurricanes we see for the average around 5.7 uh, and for the major hurricanes we see only around 1.9 uh, for that average between 1961 and 1990 as you can see around 1971 to 2000 is around the same maybe a very tiny bit above average on the named storms and the hurri major hurricanes and as you move on here 1981 to 2010 we're seeing much more with an average of 12 hurricanes uh, upwards of 6.4 hurricanes 12 named storms 6.4 hurricanes and even now up to 2.7 major hurricanes on that average uh, now we get to 1991 to 2020 and that average is now up to 14.4 named storms 7.2 hurricanes and we are even seeing an average of 3.2 major hurricanes so this is definitely increasing as we move on uh, with this climate change for uh, portions of the Pacific. Now, here is uh, my personal opinion. This is not, definitely don't take this uh, very seriously as there's much more other predictions and there's an official prediction that will be coming out sometime this month or even into June uh, by the actual National Hurricane Center. But we currently do have any predictions out from the Hur National Hurricane Center uh, right now but th again this is my personal opinion my personal prediction uh, definitely take it as a grain of salt uh, but my personal prediction is 16 to 24 named storms in the Atlantic 6 to 10 hurricanes in the Atlantic of course and 2 to 5 major hurricanes uh, I am expecting that below average shear and that's really going to help those named storms become stronger and even into hurricanes possibly a few uh, in that major hurricane range and I am expecting 100 to 110 to 170 accumulative cyclone energy for this year's season uh, so definitely a bit of energy here um, it's not the most uh, 
ever, but it's definitely a bit of energy uh, that'll really get those storms going. And that's pretty much with all of the name storms. So that's just a prediction. Uh, that's not a forecast at all. Um, and for the direct U.S. impacts, which again is a prediction, uh, this is not very this is not a very serious forecast at all. We will get the National Hurricane Center forecast coming out sometime again uh, near the end of May. So again, to take this as a grain of salt, but my prediction is three to seven direct U.S. impacts, not to cause any fear, but that's my prediction uh, that we will see. Uh, that's a pretty broad um number here uh but it's gonna be very it's gonna really depend on the storm uh but again that's just gonna be three to seven direct u.s impacts will be my prediction now here's the other predictions for some of the other teams out there and as you can see we have uh currently colorado state university is gonna predict around 17 to around 17 total named storms so that's going to be around a lower prediction the low end of uh, my prediction there um and then you got eight hurricanes so that's pretty much in the middle of my prediction and then uh for the major hurricanes they are predicting around four uh which on my scale that's going to be in a more above average rain range uh for the major hurricanes uh we have a weather company predictions which is upwards of 18 named storms so that's going to be in around the lower end range of my prediction but that's in my prediction for sure uh we got again eight hurricanes uh that is all the colorado state university and the weather company is uh, kind of agreeing on the hurricanes there and around three major hurricanes uh for the weather company uh, and of course the 1991 to 2020 average 14 total named seven hurricanes uh and category three or higher three uh so we're just expecting a little above average hurricane season this year unlike last year which was a record breaker for sure um but this year is going to be right near average but just a little bit above average is going to be expected here's those tropical cyclone names for 2021 i'm not going to say all of these but we do have anna bill claudette Danny, Elsa, Fred, Grace, Henry, Ida, Julian, Kate, and Larry, and the list goes on there. They have stopped using the Greek names, mainly because of last year, um, which is going to be interesting uh, if we do cross over Wanda to see what they actually used for this year. Um, but we we'll definitely have to wait to see uh, if this year. I don't think it's gonna make it past uh, Peter at least. At, at least uh, maybe make it over to Sam. Uh, but it's something I'm not expecting it for two pass around the Peter name there. And finally, there's my forecast, my kind of overall forecast here. And as you can see, first of all, we got the hot zone, which this is gonna be kind of the oven for these storms we're going to see some below average shear we're going to see a lot of energy um in these areas so we're going to definitely see a lot of storms developing here and we we're going to see some very high te ocean temperatures over there in the Carib caribbean uh so that's going to be more of an area which is going to be the most dangerous especially any storms that go in this type of region um, even hitting around the Mexico's, the Central America areas. Uh, so this is definitely going to be the area where we could see some a couple major storms. And in the Gulf here, mainly because of last year, I'm going to tell you to watch out. If you do live in the Gulf, you need to watch out for this year. Uh, especially because these storms are going to be headed in this general direction for this year. Uh, that high pressure is going to be in this type of region. So it's going to bring those in the this type of region so again if you live in the gulf this year you need to be prepared uh definitely getting prepared right now you may have some time in june to prepare as well uh but definitely make sure you do have all of those hurricane supplies and now we have the hit or miss area which is in the green now this is the area where you can see a hurricane uh, or a tropical storm whatever hits you or it could miss it could either go kind of like this or it could either go kind of like that so it's kind of that hit or miss area um you don't it's very hard area to predict to predict uh mainly because we have high pressure up here 
Um, we have the jet stream that'll bring out the tropical cyclone. I mean, it's just a very hard area to predict. So that's why I put that hit or miss area right there. And then lastly, in the yellow section, we do have that leftovers area. And this is kind of those leftover storms, especially if they were major storms. They're going to go up here. They're is pretty much any storm here that goes in this anywhere that goes east of Florida is gonna go in this type of area and Europe is definitely gonna get some leftovers of these storms this year so nothing major but definitely some rain maybe a little bit of wind gusts from those leftover storms uh, but again that's pretty much that area where you can see some of those leftover storms if you did enjoy the forecast and i possibly will me be making another forecast be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on post notifications so you won't miss a single upload or live stream on the channel and also make sure to share this video with any friends or family that may want a forecast on the upcoming atlantic hurricane season but anyways stay safe